doing today as far as me i'm doing all right it is 10 26 so it actually feels kind of weird recording again because i had so much footage from before labor and delivery and all that but as we know by now i lost the card so i on purpose tried not to record tried to relax and everything like that so this is like the first official video back now i thought that i should come on camera now that i put Dot nala down she's not actually asleep but she is fumbling but i'm trying to get her to sleep a little bit earlier so that i can try to slowly get her into the new time change it's kind of annoying because we got a good schedule now and now she has to relearn a new one. But anyway, while well, I put her down and that Noelle is asleep, that I should come to you guys and start talking a little bit about postpartum before I actually forget. Now, I am officially, um, hold on. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, um, going back to what I was saying, I am officially um, two weeks and like, four days three days something like that postpartum so why don't i go ahead and show you my stomach um address some changes and those type of things like that so um and then we'll go into postpartum care so this is my belly so far um i think it honestly was a little bit smaller than this so i've been eating now that i don't have her so this is what it's looking like. I did lose weight after having her. Um, and obviously I still have this line like this. I think it's done pretty well. Surprisingly, when I touch this though, it still kind of hurts. But I do love my little line. I do notice that my stomach got a lot darker than it was before but it doesn't really bother me too much. All right, so plans as far as like losing weight, postpartum, all that stuff. So um, losing weight, I do want to like make sure that I don't like overdo it on um, myself because usually after I have the babies, I'm smaller than I was before. And then after that, I start to eat again and then I slowly start to blow up. I'm hoping that I'm not doing that. So once I get cleared, I do want to start going back to the gym. Just to kind of like have my own thing as well as staying kind of consistent where I'm at now. Before I was pregnant, I was 189 pounds, but I dropped down to 172 pounds. And then I gained pregnancy weight, went up to 187 by time of delivery. And now I am 177, which is good. Um, I really want to get down to, my ideal weight would be like 165, but what's the likelihood? I don't know, but I'm not pressed about it. I'm okay if I don't get down and stuff like that. As far as postpartum, postpartum care, so bleeding. <laughs> This is where we start. So as far as bleeding and stuff like that, I am still on my period. Last time, I think I stopped about a week. I actually did stop pretty early, but I think from me doing too much and being active, it kind of like restarted back up and then it just haven't gone anywhere. It is not heavy. It is pretty, like I still see like blood when I go urinate and stuff like that, but it's not, it's not really that bad. I could honestly not have the water diapers, but I have diapers, so I'm still using diapers, but really I don't really have to use diapers. They're just so convenient right now, and I don't have to worry about any potential blood on my panties and all like that because I absolutely hate pads. Like, I know there's a lot of women that are cool with the pad life. I never was a pad person. I am a strictly tampon person 
and right now I'm not allowed to stick nothing up there so the diapers will be my life until the bleeding goes away and then I can start using tampons and stuff like that again hopefully I don't have to worry about that because I do plan on actually getting the IUD at my six week checkup if everything goes okay so I probably will be bleeding a little bit again and then hopefully after that I won't be bleeding much more um, I know a lot of people have a lot of things and feelings about IUD and stuff but you know it's my decision I've done research I've talked to doctors and I feel pretty comfortable. God forbid anything goes wrong, but we never know until we try, right? We can't let pe other people's experiences and fears hold us back from what we wanna do. Ooh, baby girl is fussy. So while she's fussy, let me tell you guys about this. Hold on. I think honestly, she just wants me to shut up. I try not to wet it too much down there because I noticed that it gets irritated. I did not actually get any stitches. I didn't have any issues down there and I didn't require anything down there outside of ice initially after having Noel. So I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to do the whole witch hazel and perineal care and um, the like the perineal bottles they give you in the hospital and all that which by the way my hospital was trash <laughs> I would have rather went to the horror store hospital than who has nothing I didn't didn't get no postpartum care items I didn't get baby wipes they she's annoyed by me hold on She is getting very fussy. <laughs> Milk time. Okay, yeah, someone's being fussy. But I don't even remember the last thing I was saying. That's the crazy part. Oh, it was talking about what they didn't give me at the hospital. Yeah, I didn't get any postpartum care. Thank God I already had that stuff. Yeah, they didn't have no wipes. I literally had to uh, use like these little cough things and put water on them and then use those as wipes they only had size one diapers they didn't have smaller diapers than that um it was just a crazy experience but uh, that's a whole nother whole nother story but um as far as me so i didn't use any rich hazel and honestly the first time even though i did have one stitch for nala i stopped using it after a week because i'm just lazy and no one got time to consistently just be pouring water on my vagina, which felt kind of weird. So I just kind of like dealt with it, took some ibuprofen and called it a day. So this time I didn't really have much issues once I got out the hospital. So it was kind of like, mm, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Um, sometimes I do have cramps and random spasms, which make me feel weird like, I don't know, I do look forward to telling my doctor about that. But outside of that, my postpartum has been pretty well. Everything after having the baby like went back to normal, so I'm able to eat normally. I noticed that even though my ice craving went away, I get extremely, extremely, extremely thirsty. Like, I can drink a gallon of juice or whatever, which is not good. So I can drink like a gallon in like one day it's like ridiculous how much i can drink and i try not to but yeah so that's my new thing so i just drink a lot of liquids and sometimes i forget to eat but i think that's because i'm juggling two babies but as far as my emotions uh it is a lot easier definitely not breastfeeding uh, I don't see how I could have done that and had time for myself because now I'm on Nala's schedule as far as her wake up times and I'm also subjected to hers and I don't see how I would have time to like pump and breastfeed and make sure that I'm attending to a one year old. <laughs> um, I guess that's the problem you have with two under one basically so Dala is adjusting she's starting to be a little bit more gentle with her um, but I don't think she still completely understands what's going on or who she is or what it is 
um, she just knows that it, that Noah moves and she wants everything to do with it but yeah I don't really know what else to say as far as my postpartum um, as far as depression I don't have that I can see how people can get postpartum um, because it's just it's just a mental toll I think when people go through like sleep deprivation and stuff like that anything can stress you out and i am getting a decent amount of sleep she wakes up about it's random she can in the middle of the night she'll wake up sometimes every two hours sometimes every three sometimes she only wakes up two or three times in the night like last night i think i woke up twice but granted i didn't go to bed till like 1 30 and that's because i was like editing and doing other stuff and i knew she was gonna get up soon and she's uh actually going through a growth spurt right now so she is cluster feeding so i have to kind of be subjected to her schedule when she cluster feeds but outside of that everything is pretty good um i just wanted to give a little bit of update but i am on a strict time schedule because she's asleep now <laughs> so let me try to utilize this time, feed myself, feed this baby, edit, and then get that baby up and do everything over again. So I will see you 